Hello friends, my name is Abhishek Rajendra Agrawal. Today we will discuss about what is data dictionary. But first we will discuss what is data type and data object. I will give you some basic information related to SAP ABAP. Here we have menu bar. This is menu bar. This is standard toolbar. As you can see, this is standard toolbar. This is command field. And this is enter button. Okay. And here you can see SAP easy access. It is called as title bar. And this is called as application toolbar. This. It contains other menu, then add favorites, create roles, etc. Suppose I click on SCAT. As you can see, it, it gives an easy access. It is called as ABAP editor. That these three buttons: back, exit, and cancel. It is called as standard key icons. Now we will understand what is data dictionary. But first, we will understand what is data types and data object because it is necessary to understand what is data types and data object. So let's continue. Data object. Data object, it is a kind of variable for which we have to store some properties. If we have multiple data object, we call it as structure. Data object, simple way, data object is a single variable which store some properties. It is called as data object. But if it have multiple data object, it is called as structure. Now, data object is an instance of data type and occupies as much memory space as it type specify and a web program only work with data that available as the content of data object. So basically data object is a kind of variable which stores some properties. Now we will move to data type. Data types are the actual type definition in a web dictionary. Data types are type of data like integer, numeric, character, etc. There are eight numerical types integer, decimal, floating point number, binary floating point number, packed number. Now we will discuss about what are the types. There are total two character like type, text field, numerical field, byte like type, byte fields. There are two types. First is user defined data types and second is system defined data type. It is also called as predefined type. Now we will discuss and in this user defined data type, it consists of two types, elementary user defined data types and structure user defined data type. And in system defined data type or predefined data type, it consists of elementary system defined data type and structured system defined data type. Now what is user defined data type? Suppose we have created a student data type in which we describe its student name, roll number, address, etc. So this structure is called as user defined data type. Structure data type is form of user defined data type that contains sequence of attributes each of which has a data type. Now we will go in detail what is structure data type. Structure data type if we want to store multiple values and fields then we have to go with structure data type. In, in elementary data type it consists of only single fields or values. But in structure data type, it consists of numerous fields and values. The main difference between structured data type and elementary data type. Now we will discuss what is elementary data type. As the name suggests, elementary data type consists of numbers, characters, integers, packed, float, data time, hexadecimal. Elementary data type can not stored more than single value at any given point of time. It consists of character, numeric, text integer, packed, float, date, time, hexadecimal. But in hexadecimal, it is represented as X. In all seven of them, it is represented as the first letter in the world. But in the last hexadecimal, it is represented as X. Now we will discuss what is character data type. Uh, simple syntax data A5 type C. What is A5? A5 are the fields. 5 5 is the length, C is the character, 
if you don't give type c or character for example then it also show as character suppose data a5 it will automatically show as the character we don't have to write data a5 type c but in most of abap programs we have to write type c in abap program it is mandatory to write types so if we don't give length it will consider as one as you can see data a5 5 is the length we can give as 4 3 6 but suppose if we have not given length it will consider as one now we will see what is numeric text only difference is that we write it as syntax data a5 type n type n represent as numeric text now we will go to integer integer we don't have to give any number it will automatically consider as nine now as you can see i have mentioned some syntax like numeric text integer packed float date and time so that you can understand what are the concept now we will do some programming we will do elementary data type program so we will uh, we will go to set now we will create a program z and every program starts with z as i previously mentioned so uh, sample 3 sample 3 does not exist so yes uh, no we don't want tov include now mm, save z if you do not know how to create a package i have made a video related to it so you can understand how to create a package and what is package builder etc so now it is saved we will open oh we have created program okay now you can see it is in display mode to change it into right mode we have to click on this change mode it will automatically change so we can write program so we will write elementary data type program as you can see types will not store any data it will only store properties so the types that i was writing it will only store properties now name then data name one type name comma name two type name name 3 name comma name 4 type name comma name 5 like name 4 1 is equal to om name to is equal to sai name name 3 is equal to ram name Four is equal to Sam and name five is equal to 
Harry. Right. We want to display all the names, so we will write name, write statement. Name one, comma, name two, comma, name three, comma, name four, comma, name five, name five. Full stop. In this, we have created a simple elementary data type. Now we will save it, and then we will click on Pretty Printer. Then we will click on Check, then Activate. Now we will execute the program. So see, Om Sai Ram Sam Harry. Now we will go back. As you can see, it is in row wise, but if you want in column wise, so we will. Type will write what this will do create column wise. So, so I have a C home diagram. As you can see in data, I have written name one, type name, and so on. But in last sentence, I have written name five, like name four. Because I have not written name, it is name four, and as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. Now suppose I have written name three is equal to Harry. Harry name three as Harry as you can see in previous sentence name three I have written as Ram like in name three can there up here just take the name three can there many Ram like I or last sentence can there name three can there was many Ram ke was a Harry like I to consa statement run hoga Ram ya Harry so it will activate curl it here or take the will just execute and see Harry it will automatically overwrite it is called as elementary data type it store only single value now we will see what is structure data type it's single elementary data type now we will see what is structure data type control plus greater than and control plus less than it is used to comment or decomment the statement Now structure data type. First, what is structure data type? As I previously mentioned, structure data type consists of more fields and variables compared to elementary data types. Elementary data types consist of only single value and fields. But in structure data type, it consists of more fields and values. So we'll do programming on structure data types. Types as I previously mentioned, it is it stores only properties begin of st empty. Empty. No. So then type C. C for character. Now m a t n a 20 type c now dom type d u s t cost 10 type c End of st empty empty data it empty type
standard table of st mat w wt is represented as work area and it it is represented as internal table work area in simple word it is gateway to internal table now work area type st mat to stop M A T M A T N O is equal to hundred. Then we'll give some space. Now W M A T M A T N A is equal to computer. computer then w m a t dom 20058 enter w m a t C O cost hmm. now append append I will discuss later on to IT. I'm waiting. Let's stop. Now we will copy this. Mm. Copy. Mm. Or you can simply Control V, Control C to copy and paste. Control V. Okay. Now hundred, two hundred. It is. It will be right as. I T. I will make some changes so that we can see in proper way. Uh, computer I T civil. Civil C I V I L civil. Uh, nine and uh, three. Now. Now to show all these things, we have to write loop. So loop to loop at it internal table mat into w mat. Write statement. Write statement. It is used to show all the things which we want to display. So w M A T M A T N O W M A T M A T N E W M A T Dome W M A T cost full stop and end loop. And now we will go to pretty printer. So everything is set. Save. We will save it. Check. Activate. Now we will execute the program. It is structure data type program. So execute. See hundred. Computer, two hundred IT number, civil, two 